Hey guys, Seleno here from playtoearn.net. Another month is here, and as we step into April, blockchain gaming projects have some surprises for us as well. In today's video, I'll be talking about five games that have stuff going on this month that you can keep your eye on. Without further ado, let's get to the list. The first game on our list is Seraph in the Darkness. Seraph in the Darkness is an action RPG being built on the blockchain. Seraph is an ARPG loot game where players embark on quests to uncover treasures and build unique equipment. Seraph is free to play for everyone, and also supports a play-to-earn model while claiming to foster a sustainable and healthy economic environment. If you've played other games in this genre like Diablo, then this gameplay might already be familiar to you. When you start the game, you choose from one of the three available heroes, the Barbarian, the Sorceress, and the Valkyrie. Barbarians possessed exceptional strength and proficiency in a wide variety of weapons and fighting skills. Sorceresses have the ability to manipulate the elements of frost, fire, and lightning to attack enemies, and Valkyries are proficient with bows and spears. You can choose which one suits you best. They also have their own skills which they can use in combat, with their own individual skill trees. To further strengthen your hero, you can also equip them with various types of weapons, armor, accessories, and amulets that give them bonuses. Equipment can come in two categories, moral equipment and chaos equipment. The main difference of the two is that chaos equipment have bonus stats and are NFTs. Equipment also have different rarities from ordinary, magic, rare, to unique. Seraph has recently announced its preseason phase which will start this April 19th. The preseason will include a number of additions and features. There will be several new NFTs made available by Treasure Debut. There are plans for a complete play to earn process for players to get into the true Web3 realm. There will also be game contributions, locking in future earnings, as well as launching of convenient features like Equipment Lock. For even more info, you can check our article. The next game on our list is Evermoon. Evermoon is an esports MOBA tower defense game being built on Immutable. Evermoon is a 5 vs 5 multiplayer online battle arena that combines traditional MOBA gameplay with Web3 technology, allowing players to own NFT characters and earn EVM tokens while playing. The objective of the game is to strategically maneuver across the map, eliminate enemy towers, and ultimately destroy the enemy's base. Players can participate in two modes, normal matches and ranked matches, both involving 5 vs 5 matches with rewards for all players at the end, regardless of the outcome. If you've played other MOBAs in the past, the gameplay of this might already be familiar to you. In normal matches, victorious players earn free loot boxes and experience points, while in ranked matches, winners receive winner loot boxes, experience points, and ranking points. Players can also complete various quests that reward loot boxes and tokens. The game features six classes of heroes with different playstyles, but each with the same basic attributes. The classes are Magician, Assassin, Fighter, Marksman, Support, and Tank. The game also features a rune system. The game's innovative free-to-play and play-earn economy, integration with decentralized finance and smart contracts, and true ownership of in-game assets claim a set apart from traditional MOBA games. The game is currently in pre-beta and will soon come to both Android and iOS devices. Evermoon's beta has also recently launched and players are invited to take part in this testing phase. From April 2nd to 15th, players from Middle Asia, Southeast Asia, and the Pacific regions can join the open test. Gamers can earn rewards including USDT for top players, Sacred Egg whitelist spots, and an epic skin. By inviting friends with the game's referral system, players can also earn part of a 1 million EVM reward pool, enriching the beta experience. For even more info, you can check our article. Liking this list so far? Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel so you're always updated with play to earn game news. And now let's get straight back to the list. The next game on our list is Magicraft. Magicraft is a fantasy MOBA game being built on the Binance Smart Chain. Magicraft is a PvP MOBA game that can be played on mobile devices. It offers an immersive experience of magic and adventure. In Magicraft, players are given the opportunity to demonstrate their skills through battles and strategic gameplay. The game is designed in such a way that the most skilled player and the strongest team have the potential to emerge victorious. The game offers various modes including free for all fights and battle royal, where the last player standing wins. Magicraft emphasizes fair play and skill-based gameplay. Players can customize their characters, join custom game rooms, and communicate with friends using team voice chat. They can also explore new maps, complete daily quests to level up their characters, and enjoy social features like in-game parties. Magicraft is continuously updated with new maps and characters to keep the gameplay fresh. The game also offers daily bonuses and gifts to its community members. 
And if you play the Web3 version, there is a Slay to Earn mode where you can earn digital rewards for your valor on the battlefield. The rewards come in the form of MCRT, which is the game's main utility token. The game is playable now if you want to try it out. Magic Craft also recently announced a new Web3 game launching for the MCRT ecosystem called Magic 8 Ball. Magic 8 Ball is a blockchain-backed pool game in which you compete against other players for a chance at earning MCRT tokens as a reward. The title will feature daily tasks to complete from which you will also be able to earn a certain amount of tokens. For even more info, you can check our article. The next game on our list is Parallel. Parallel is a collectible sci-fi card game being built on Ethereum. Parallel is a sci-fi franchise and trading card game empowering collectors to truly own their cards and other game items. The game has a rich lore and story, which is revealed through comics, avatars, terminals, and companions. Players can explore the different factions, planets, and characters that shape the parallel universe. You can choose from five parallel civilizations when you start the game and help fight for your home. There are the Earthen, the Agincourt, the Marcolian, the Cathari, and the Shroud. Players can create their own decks from a collection of cards, each with unique abilities and effects. Players can also customize their cards with cosmetics, such as skins and frames. You will need at least one complete deck of a parallel faction. A deck consists of 40 cards from a single parallel, plus universal cards. Universal cards do not belong to any parallel and may be used in all decks. Players can use energy to play cards and activate their effects. Energy can also be banked to power up cards and unleash powerful attacks. Players can summon units to form their armies and battle their opponents. Once your enemy's health reaches zero, you win the match. The second season of Parallels Open Beta has recently started this April 1st. The new season introduces a new battle pass featuring a new playable card, various rewards, and exclusive cosmetics, while a new game mode kicks off called Tournaments. Players will be able to participate in three types of in-game tournaments, open tournaments, standard tournaments, and high-stakes tournaments. While the rules and format for all three will be the same, the entry fee and prize structure will be different for each one. For even more info, you can check our article. The last game on our list is NFT Battle Miners. NFT Battle Miners is a PvP mining card game being built on Wax. NFT Battle Miners is a blockchain game that combines elements of NFT collection, PvP combat, and resource management. Players can collect unique digital characters called miners, each with its own attributes and abilities, and use them to extract resources from various lands. The game is set in the Arcadia Stellar system, featuring 10 planets, 13 moons, and a giant asteroid belt. Players can explore, mine resources, create powerful elixirs, and engage in various activities to earn rewards and progress in the game. Players can extract four different resources with unique properties like Fusium, Actium, Minium, and Constructium, each serving different purposes in the game. Additionally, players can collect over 200 unique ingredients to create powerful elixirs, improve their spaceship, or enhance their environment. NFT Battle Miners also features a unique ranking system that rewards players for their engagement and progression in the game. The game offers multiple ways of earning rewards, including active gameplay through PvP battles and passive income by staking NFT cards for mining. And since the game uses blockchain technology, it allows players to create, exchange, and sell in-game assets for real money, providing a unique gaming experience with tangible value. NFT Battle Miners is also heading into Season 4 of Shadow Depths on April 12th, with a prize pool said to be worth around $30,000. When it comes to updates for this fourth season, the team revealed that the primary focus has been on refining the gameplay experience, as Shadow Depth serves as an entry point for new players. Adjustments to token generation have been made so as to make Arcadian Mining serve as the main source of tokens. Meanwhile, the pass is now focused on offering in-game item rewards and Waxby as a way to combat the game's NFT inflation problem, thus removing most of the NFT prizes. For even more details, you can check our article. And that's a wrap for today's list of games. If you were looking for play to earn games with stuff going on this month, then I hope this video helped. And for even more info on everything about blockchain games, check out our website at playtoearn.net, where we have the largest database of games that have all the info you need. That's it for today. See you in the next video.